Town friends, welcome to another episode here at Disciple Town. My name is Pastor David, and we are in for an awesome time here on this new episode of Disciple Town. Now, do you guys remember what we're talking about all of the month of July? Mm. That's right, we're talking about faith. Now, faith is our new element of the month, and our elements are building blocks for our faith. That's crazy, faith builds our faith. It sounds kind of confusing, but don't worry, we'll clear things up as we go. Now, if this is your first or second time with us, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to all of our content here on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page, so you never miss out on what God has in store for you. Now, do you believe that God has a plan for you? Well, He does. God has an amazing plan for you. He has an amazing plan for all of us. And here at Disciple Town, our job is to help you find what God is calling you to do. That's called your purpose. See, Jeremiah 29 11 says that God has a plan for us, a plan to prosper us and to give us a future and to give us hope. Now we live in a world today that could use a little bit more hope. So make sure that you follow us in Disciple Town so you can see all the messages of hope that we are bringing and so that you can become a Disciple Town citizen. So we have a lot of fun stuff to do today. We have a cool activity to see if things sink or float, and we also have a brand new big idea to learn more about our new element this month called faith. So before we go any further, let's make sure that we pray together because prayer is an important part of worship. It aligns our hearts to God so we can get in tune with what He wants to teach us today. So wherever you are, let's either kneel, Sit, stand, or fold your hands, but make sure you close your eyes and let's pray to our God. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day that you've given to all of our Disciple Town citizens. I pray, Father, that we learn more about faith and that we can learn to trust you even more. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, without further ado, let's get ready for worship. Even through 
worshiping with you all and make sure that you come next week to our campus here at 301 East Mountain Road so we can worship together. Every first and third weekend of the month we get together here at Bowman Brook Church and Disciple Town and we get to worship with all our Disciple Town citizens and you get to meet all of your awesome teachers like Miss Ari and Miss Autumn, Miss Debbie, Miss Clarissa, Mr. Ryan and even me. All right, so let's get on with our lesson today. This whole month we're learning about faith and let's remind ourselves of the definition of what faith is. Faith is confident trust in God. Hmm, confident trust in God. Let's learn a little more about that. Let me ask you guys this. What is your favorite subject in school? Uh, thanks for sharing your answers. Some of you like math, some of you like science, some of you like social studies or English. Is anyone's favorite history? That's mine! I love history. It's full of awesome stories. I love learning about the history of the earth and I love learning about different cultures that have come up. I have loved learning about different civilizations, different kingdoms. I love history. And you know what I love more than just world history? I love Bible history. It's my most favorite thing to study. Now most of us don't have Bible class in schools, but that's why we have Disciple Town. We get to have our Bible lesson today. The cool thing about faith is that we learn faith through our own history. If you look back at your own life, we can keep track of how God has shown up over and over again in the big things and even in the small things. Big things like moving out of our house, big things like going into middle school, big things like graduating one grade to another, or even small things like waking up each morning or having food on the table, or maybe even having parents that love us. But faith is one of those things that you can look at in your history and use that to help build your faith. Let's remember our memory verse of the month. It's found in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 and it says consequently faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the words about Christ now it's super important to make sure that we have room for the word because this text tells us that faith comes from hearing the Word of God. Now, what's the Word of God? That's the Bible. We have to make sure that we have room for the Bible in our lives. Reading it, studying it, learning it, and that's what today's lesson is all about. How we can practically build our faith using our time. So what this verse says, kids, is that we need to have the Bible in our hearts and in our heads all the time. We always need to keep reading the Bible and making sure we understand what that looks like because learning about the Bible and studying the Bible is important. And that leads us to our big idea. Now, before I tell us about the big idea, I have a way to illustrate it first. Here, I have a jar of water. It's a pitcher of water. And water is really cool because you could drink it or you could float in it, but some people sink in it. So we're gonna play a quick game called Sink or Float. And how we're gonna play this is I'm gonna lift this up and you're gonna answer in the comments after I show an item if it will sink or float. So let's start off with this Keurig K-Cup. Do you think it'll sink or float?
type in the comments now. All right, let's see if it'll sink or float. It floats, do you see that? The whole thing is floating. Even if I push it down, it comes straight back up. All right, the next one is this Mr. Good Bar. Do you think it'll sink or float? I'll give you 10 seconds to answer now. All right, let's see if it'll sink or float. It floats, okay. Let's take a look at this metal cup. All right, do you think it'll sink or float? I'll give you five seconds to answer now. All right, let's see if it sinks or floats. It went straight to the bottom there. It sunk. All right, let's take a look at some other things. I have this bottle cap. Do you think it'll sink or float? Three seconds, go. All right, let's see it. It floats. All right, let's take a look at this vegetable peeler. Do you think this will sink or float? I think it'll sink, but let's let's find out. It 100% sinks. All right, last one. This sponge, will it sink or will it float? Oh, when it's super wet, it sinks, but when it's dry, it floats. So now after playing that game, notice how the more you did the game, the more you kind of understood which one would sink and which one would float. It's like the more you did it, the better you got at it. Now that's the same with God. The more we spend time with Him, the more our faith gets built. So here's our big idea of the week. The big idea is spending time with God increases our faith. So just like you got better at the game the more you played it, the more time you spend with God, the more it will increase your faith in Him. So let's go into our Bibles and read about a story about Jesus doing something amazing. And pay attention to what Jesus does right before He does amazing things. Stories of the Bible. Peter walks on water. This is Peter. Hey -o. Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus. Whoa! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. Ah! About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, Yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat Whoa, you're awesome. and walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah, ah! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me! Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshiped him and said, you really are the son of God. Now Jesus walked on water, amazing. 
Now notice what Jesus did before he did something incredible. It says in verse 22 that he spent time with God by himself. All of us need to make sure that we have quiet time with God, where it's just us and God. Maybe that's us praying, maybe that's us reading the Bible, but there needs to be a time in our lives during our day where we just spend talking with God. All right, so here's the challenge for all of you. I want to let you know that God wants to do amazing things in your life. But before you're able to do any of that, before God is able to work through you, you need to spend time with Him. Raise your hand if you want to do something amazing for God. I know I do. So what, is the, what do I have to do in order for God to do amazing things in my life? I have to spend time with Him. So, Disciple Town citizens, here's the big challenge of the week. If the big idea is spending time with God increases our faith, the big challenge is to spend time with God. I want all of you to try to spend at least 10 minutes with God every single day this week. And then next week, we'll get together and see if we can up the numbers and go for a full hour. All right, friends, I can't wait to get together with you guys again and learn more about faith. But until then, I hope that all of you accept the challenge of spending more time with God. We'll see you later, friends.